Hello and welcome to Blogsprout. I'm LJ and today I'm going to go through my month eight income report for my niche site. So this is for August 2022. I have made a video since I started the site back in January 2022. Um, so there's an entire playlist for all of those income reports if you want more detailed information about the previous results. Um, so let's dive into it. So all these videos are structured the same. At first, they cover the milestones, number of articles written, overall page views. I go through the search console results, income expenses, and then go through my lessons learned and goals. So the, the milestones, so goals for month eight were to get 30 articles. As you can see, I achieved um, many of my goals. The two that I did not achieve was a $400 in affiliate revenue. I had a really good month last month, over $400, so I thought I would be able to keep that up. Um, but part of the reason was I had one very large commission that I don't expect to get repeat, um, like as a repeat customer, because it is such a high ticket item. So that accounted for almost $80 in, in affiliate revenue. And the other thing was that for the month of July, Amazon associates, affiliates, increase their commission rates. So I think the combination of those two things didn't allow me to reach $400, but we'll go into that a little bit more detail later on. I wanted to get 70,000 page views, 1,500 in ad revenue. I wanted a $30 EPMV, and for some reason this month I had a lower EPMV than I have seen, both with ads and with total revenue. But I did get through the video ad placeholders for at least the top 100 sites, but I didn't make any new videos, which I was hoping to get done. So the milestones, the only major milestone that I see for this month is I got 100,000 page views according to Google. And I remember thinking like getting 100,000 page views would be a great milestone. Um, unfortunately, I thought that 100,000 page views would lead to slightly more income, but that's okay. I'm still pretty happy with what I'm seeing at this point. So the major activities that happened this month is I did get a backlink from a major publisher for a product I discuss. Unfortunately, when I went back into Google to look for that backlink at the end of the month, it had disappeared. So I think I lost that backlink and I'm not quite sure why. Um, but I did get invited to a new affiliate program and got my first commission. So I'm really excited to see if that could bring any extra income. And then I started my first tag tester in Azoic. So I'll probably make a video about that later on. Um, but what I'm doing is A-B testing different titles for some of my top search results in Google to see if I can improve the click-through rate. So articles. I got 45 articles done this month. They're usually in that 1,000 word average. Some are as low as 800. Every once in a while, I have one over 2,000, but that's very few in in total. So let's go through the page views. So this is an overview of the page views month over month. The good news is that I'm continuing to grow, even though in some aspects I took a little bit of a step back in the month of August. I'm still on a great trajectory in terms of traffic. Um, we can see that it's starting to slow down in terms of that exponential exponential growth. At the beginning we were you know tripling, doubling. And now we're, we're increasing by, you know, 30, 20, 10%, which is not bad. Always growing is, is positive. But as you can see in Google, I got 101,000 pages for the, for the month. And Azoic had slightly lower at 94,000. So if we look at the pages from Google Analytics, what we're seeing on the right is a comparison of month eight versus month seven. So according to Google Analytics, there was a 50% increase, which actually is a lot more than I thought in, um, you know, in visits and sessions, 44% um, in page views is really good. The only thing that I did see was that like the overall time, you know, spent on page and sessions and going through multiple pages decreased. Again, I have made it pretty clear in previous income reports that this site isn't designed for people to spend a lot of time and navigate from page to page. Um, so that doesn't really surprise me, but a big impact, you know, from, from last month that probably accounted for this 50% increase were those dips that we saw, um, in the previous month from, from changing themes and, 
um, the robots.txt file not being set up. So, um, Azoic, the page views for Azoic, um, we had 94,000 page views um, across 80,000 sessions. The engage time per visit is um, a minute, which is nice. I have, you know, I've been following a few people on Twitter, and it's crazy to see when they have um, engaged visit page, um, you know, time on page of eight, nine, ten minutes. To me, that's crazy. Um, but the type of information they're providing is, you know, troubleshooting. So people are keeping the article up while they're trying to fix something at the same time. So that um, that makes sense. But um, as you can kind of see um, from this trend is that we'll go into more detail later, but the overall revenue per day was kind of on a slight decrease. Um, but it is what it is. <laughs> Things happen. Um, so according to Zoic, month over month, there's still an 8% increase in revenue overall. Um, the EPMV dropped, which I said I, I had noticed. Is I don't like to see that drop because... Um, you know, EPMV is really important metric, but visits were up 17%, pages were up 15%, so everything was up, um, except unfortunately, total revenue. So the Azoic page view overview. So what we're seeing here is that my site's starting to kind of level off. And I certainly know that I haven't reached a, a cap um, for this type of content. Um, I still have a lot more articles to publish, and those will slowly increase, um, you know, increase these page views. But I think those initial articles, um, which are the ones that actually bring in the most traffic, are starting to find their place in Google search. So that's why it's starting to level off. So all the content that I've published, you know, in April, May, June, that's still learning to rank. So I'm hoping that over time, um, you know, I will start to still see a little bit of increase. I don't think it's going to be as fast as what I saw at the beginning, but I have done a lot of keyword research and there's definitely more things I can, can target to bring in more content. So um, my traffic source, so I like to show this just to give you an idea of where um, people are coming to my site from. Um, so Google is still one of the biggest... Um, biggest traffic drivers, but you'll see that in terms of percentage, I lost 8% of my traffic coming from Google. So that's a bit unfortunate. Um, we'll see in the, like later on, why I think that's happening, but Google traffic is also really valuable in terms of ad incomes. So I think that's the main reason why I actually saw a decrease in revenues. I was starting to get traffic from other sources that weren't um, bringing in as much, as much revenue. So for example, my second source is DuckDuckGo and DuckDuckGo, unfortunately, um, is not a high quality, um, search engine to drive traffic specifically for revenue. Um, you know, Zoic has come out and said that there are so many factors that go into it and some of them are the actual specific search engines and, Dr. Go, unfortunately, has really, really low EPMVs compared to others. But that did grow. I'm not upset. I still get more traffic. Um, if I'm, you know, I'm still getting more traffic month over month, but I'm hoping I can really kind of bump up that Google and Yahoo and Bing. Those ones actually bring in pretty good revenue as well um, to kind of increase that overall EPMV. So let's look in the Search Console. So here's where we're going to go into a little more detail about why I think we're seeing that decrease. So the overall Search Console results, as you can see, I have that leveling out on the search results too in terms of clicks. We can see that generally speaking, the overall impression, impressions, this purple line, are still going up. They're slowing down, but they're still going up. But right at the beginning of August, I started seeing a decrease in clicks. So, um, but when we look at month over month, it's still higher. You know, I still got 3,000 more clicks, 300,000 more impressions. Um, Click-through rate went down, but the average position went up. So my thought as to why this is happening 
and there's some data later on that backs it up, is that I think for some reason I'm losing some of the featured snippets I may have had before. Because featured snippets in terms of Search Console don't actually so show up as a position. You know, they're at a position zero. So they don't affect, at least to my knowledge, if someone knows differently, let me know. But they don't, if you're in position one, you're after the featured snippet. So if my position's going up, that means my regular rankings are going up. But um, since I'm having less of a click-through rate, I'm probably not winning that top spot, which has a really high click-through rate. Um, fortunately, though, in Bing, I'm continuing to see a growth in the same type of pattern in that kind of cyclical cyclical pattern. Um, click the rate of 7.4. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how Bing is linking my content. Um, so month eight had 100,000 impressions, 8.6 thousand clicks. And as I've said before, Bing actually has pretty good EPMV. So it's nice to see that my average position is on that first page and it's, it's really liking to show my content. So SEMrush, um, I did increase my keywords according to them by almost double. You know, it's saying now I'm ranking for 31,000 keywords instead of 15,000. Um, my traffic is quite underestimated and this is where you'll realize these tools aren't exactly accurate. It says I have only 44,000, um, you know, views and visits, but we know Oh, 44 plus 3, 47, 50,000, but I have almost double that. Um, so my keywords are probably close to that as well. But I do target more informational. It's interesting that it's starting to see some of my posts being transactional. Those are probably the ones I'm getting affiliate commission for, but they're not quite transactional. They're informational, and I'm just doing the research to find them the right product. So this is where I believe um, this backs up my hypothesis. On, and my theory on the on Google. So according to SEMrush, my SERP features, I only have 53 featured snippet keywords when last month I have 276. So I don't think it's necessarily a ban. Um, I think maybe it's playing around with the type of information. And I do know that I'd like to go back and optimize those, but I think I did optimize them. So I don't want to over optimize and make it seem like I'm trying too hard to get those featured snippets. So I'm going to wait it out for now and see what happens. I mean, there's still 53 there in the featured snippets. I'm still ranking pretty well on most of my other content, so it's not too much um, to worry about. But I do like to see the people also ask went up by 700. Um, my image pack doubled and the number of images I ranked for in keywords over tripled. Um, so the, that featured snippet is probably what's accounting for the loss in Google traffic and overall revenue. So keyword positions, I saw a very similar um, trend that I did last month. So on the top is last month and then the bottom is this month. I had 277 keywords improve. Fortunately, more declined, but I lost less. Um, you know, I lost about 25 less than I had seen before. And it says I ranked for 190 new. Things are always changing. Um, it's very unlikely that I'm going to remain the same with any of my keywords for an extended period of time um, without, you know, touching up the articles and updating them and things like that. So Uber suggests um, I have a domain authority there at 12. I think at one point it may have 14. So it's going down slightly. Um, part of that reason could be that I lost that backlink that I thought was very high quality. Um, so last month, maybe Uber Suggest did see that link, but now it doesn't. So it decreased that authority. I'm not sure. But according to SEMrush, I have the same authority score of 43. So backlinks, I'm about the same as what I was according to SEMrush. Again, I don't know where this 3,000 backlinks is coming from. Um, most of them are still in that... Um, 60 and under domain authority. Um, if I had taken this when I saw that high quality backlink, I may have had one in the 81 to 100 range, but at the time I pulled this report, I had lost that backlink. 
So Google backlinks did say it increase. So this is for a discrepancy. At some rush is 3,000, this is 300. Uh, my guess is this the Google one's more, um, more accurate and more important to actually pay attention to because Google is the one that's deciding where your content is. So if it says I have more backlinks, you know, I have 60 more backlinks, that's probably a good thing. But again, a lot of them are forums and, and things like that, which are, are great. They're very natural and genuine. I'm just waiting for, you know, a couple of big backlinks, which may or may not come. So Bing, according to Bing, Bang, Bing backlinks, I only gained um, two extra domains. And that's all I got for the overall analytics of the site for month eight. So page views, but now this is what people really want to dive into is the income. So you know how much traffic I got, you know where it was coming from, so how much did I make? So the total income for the month was 2,236.64 cents. So not bad, but overall compared to last month, that did decrease. So I'm not super thrilled that it went down. However, we'll see later on that the actual profit I made off of it is larger this month because I had fewer expenses. So this is the ads overview. So when you're in a Zoe Premium, you can get a, um, a feature or an overall chart that looks like this. The dark brown is your premium ad partners. Er, dark brown, dark green, the light green, Lighter green is the Zoic ad partners, and then the lightest green is the mediation ad partners. So that's from Google AdSense. So from ads, it said I earned, you know, $1,945. Premium ads was $350. I'm paying $220 per month, so I made $130 off of that investment. Um, my mediation ad partners was over 600 and his ad partners was just under 1000. So um, here we can see, it's a little bit easier to see that maybe over the month, you know, I was excited at the beginning, I was approaching $80 a day, but as I, you know, went, went down the rest of the month, that revenue started to, to decrease. We did the middle of August kind of see the low point Maybe it's coming back up, but we'll find out when I do the September report. Um, so Google AdSense income, um, it stayed about the same um, day over day. It was somewhere in the 15 to 25 range, a couple lower, a couple higher, um, but it totaled $613, giving a Google AdSense RPM of $8. So Amazon affiliates, as you may remember, and as I mentioned, I had over $400 in affiliate commissions last month. And this month I didn't even reach 300, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but again, last month I had a really high ticket item sold that gave me $75 or something in commission. So right there makes it a little bit more comparable to last month. And last month I had an extra, you know, one and a half percent or something for the entire month of July on my commissions. So <clears throat> that would definitely increase the overall amount here. But, you know, I still had almost 300 ordered items. I had an item ordered every day except the 28th. But again, this month was really just concerning because everything seemed to go down. And even here we can see that the number of clicks, which is red, went down, you know, across the, the, um, across the month. And I think part of it could be that these specific articles, the ones that bring me the Amazon affiliate commissions, may be the ones that I'm losing the featured snippets on because, you know, I'm finding a specific product that they need. Um, so that, that could be something. So I mentioned I'm part of a new affiliate program and this affiliate program is on the same topic as the, um, the actual affiliate affiliate pages, even though they're not real affiliate pages, but, um, I'm pretty happy that the first month I got 132 clicks, which led to $20 in sales. It's not big, but 
it offers a alternative um, to someone who may be looking for that product. And, you know, an extra, extra $20 a month is nothing I can complain about for just kind of adding almost a homemade ad on each of those pages. So I've been showing these Oak video ads. This month I finally see some impact on implementing video ads. So Zoic has been pushing video content a lot. And from my experience up to this point, it hasn't really been worth it. But I did mention that I wanted to go through and update all the placeholders and add them to the necessary pages. There are still plenty of other articles I want, or yeah, articles I want to make into videos. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but I did make an extra $35 this month in the grand scheme of things. It's not a ton compared to the total, but for how easy it is to make the videos and add them, I'm going to keep, um, keep going with that. So the overall EPMV, according to Zoic, um, was $24.16. Didn't get, certainly didn't get the $30, but didn't even get $25. And Google actually showed that I had um, more sessions, so the EPMV for that, just for ads, went down to 21. But overall, I did reach the $25 EPMV, so this is including the affiliate income um, through Amazon Affiliates and that new program. So the Azoic metrics told me I had a $27 EPMV and Google had a $25 EPMV. So let's look at the expenses. So last month I had a lot of expenses. I got a new theme, I got new hosting, and I um, I started premium. I did a lot of things and it came out to about 600 or so dollars. But this month I only spent $300. And those expenses were for Azoic Premium and the VA that I hired. So her estimate is about $100 a month, but um, she couldn't quite reach all of the all of the the targets this month, so um, I only ended up paying ninety four dollars. But next month, I anticipate that my my spending will be three hundred twenty dollars. So I don't like having expenses, and there are some people on Twitter that say they don't have expenses, but maybe that's because they have a partnership with the Zovic and they don't have to pay for premium. If I didn't have to pay for premium, I would definitely, you know, I'd be making an extra two hundred twenty dollars a month, which would be absolutely amazing. But that investment is, you know, making me more than if I were not to pay for it. So the monthly profit came out to $1,922.14. Or $1 so that's pretty good. I'm almost at the $2,000 in monthly profit. So lessons learned. Overall, this was a pretty good, um, pretty good month for me. I didn't run into too many issues. But um, the problems I ran into is that I noticed that EPMV going down, traffic going down, and then I lost that backlink from that major site. So... Um, those are things, unfortunately, that are kind of out of my hands. Um, there's some things I can do, um, but what I think they mostly resulted from is the lost and featured snippets. So that resulted in lower high quality traffic, so lower traffic coming to Google, which led to a lower click-through rate and less people coming from Google to my site, which would yield higher um, higher income results. I have mentioned in the past that my search results for desktop and mobile are quite different. If I can bump up that desktop search, I don't know how, but if I can bump that up even halfway towards the mobile, that'll also really increase my EPMV. But a lot of people, you know, search through mobile, so there's significantly less traffic through desktop. And I don't quite know of ways that I can make the desktop improve. So goals for month nine. Again, I'd like to target 30 articles. I'm decreasing my affiliate revenue to 250. Considering it's going down, I really hope that I can at least maintain that level of 250. Since I reached 100,000 pages according to Google, I want to stay there and at least grow. Um, 2,000 in ad revenue. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully something I can achieve if everything stays the same. Get over $30 EPMV total and make two new videos. That's why I'm keeping the edit the 
video placeholders. I do want to get two more videos up on my site because I'm making playlists that fit around certain categories. So more than half of my pages don't have any videos. So the major watchouts I've said is that EPMV was going down over the course of August. So I want to see how it changes in September. September is the last um, month in the quarter. So maybe we'll see it go back up. Um, and you know, there's back to school and things like that. Maybe that'll affect EPMV. But we all know that there was a Google update that started a couple weeks ago, um, or just under a couple weeks ago. So it's going to finish rolling out this week. At the moment, I haven't really seen any changes. The decrease that I started to see was before that update rolled out. Um, and then just keep an eye on featured snippets and see if there's if there's a competition that's ranking for it now and see if there's any way that I can try to win those back. Um, I do think they're valuable, but unfortunately, if Google doesn't want to show them, I'm not going to really go out of my way to change it because it can't really be changed any better than it already is. So here's the overview. Um, since the beginning of the year, I've made a net profit of $6,000, which is wonderful. Um, you know, we saw the Zoic earnings went up, um, the affiliate earnings went down, AdSense stayed about the same, expenses went down from last month, so the, the net increased. So at the moment, I have about 262 articles um, that are published on my site. Many of them will stay there. Um, I know Google just had their helpful content update and said to get rid of unhelpful content, but I truthfully believe that each of these articles is helpful in one way or another. Um, some of them are very underserved. So hopefully, as always, this video was useful to you. You found some value um, to help you think about how you can analyze your site and compare your growth and try to identify areas in which, um, you know, you're struggling. For example, I saw my traffic going down and I think that's because of featured snippets based on all the data collected. That seems to be the most, um, most likely problem. And there's not necessarily an easy solution for it, but we'll see how next month goes. So thanks for sticking through this whole video. Um, this is Blogsprout. I'm LJ, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.